the Dollar Tree put out these chunky wood pieces for their uh, spring Easter season and I thought these were perfect to create some high-end wood decor now they do have the carrots the eggs and they also have some little chicks for the first DIY I'm going to be using that bunny along with this wooded um, beaded tray from the Dollar Tree as well I am going to hot glue and add some wood glue to the bunny to the bottom of the bunny and attach it to the center of this wood piece these DIYs are really simple easy to do but I do love how they turn out once I get it attached in the middle I am going to go in with some Waverly white um, snow white chalk paint to paint this entire piece Today I am collaborating with my sweet friend May from Craft Away with May and we are bringing you some tray decor. So mine is not a tear tray but it's like a single tray and I thought adding this bunny to this tray um, is so cute because you can style some miniature pieces around this bunny. So I'm just going to go in uh, giving it a nice good coat of this white paint now where the beads are i'm not going all the way into the creases i want to kind of still have that distressed look as well i'm going to have may's channel linked in the description box below so that after watching my video you can head over to her channel and see what my friend has come up with and if you're coming over from her channel welcome thank you so much for stopping by and i hope you enjoyed today's video so I thought I added it in there, but what I did was took a small brush and just um, brushed on the little blush paint to create the little indention in the ears. Um, now what I'm doing is taking some jute cord and tying it around the neck to create a little basic bow. And then I have these florals here from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to pull off a few of these so that I can embellish them right over the jute cord. Um, I absolutely love the green leaves on these florals here from the Dollar Tree. So when I do see them, I pick them up because I think they are perfect for the spring. So I'm just adding a little hot glue and then I'm placing the leaves um, right on top and then I'll add the little florals. Now I did pick up these little small bunnies from, I believe I got these from Hobby Lobby for like two bucks. And I am going to style these on the tray, but I do like that you have room to style other decor and I think this is simple but it is so adorable. So they also had these eggs in the Dollar Tree with the flat bottom and I thought these would be perfect as well. I really love these chunky pieces. They really make great decor for the season. That looks high end. And I'm going to be using two more wood pieces from the Dollar Tree out of the Crafter Square section as well. What I'm going to do first is paint all four of these pieces using some more of that Snow White um, Waverly Chart paint. I absolutely love decorating for the spring season. Fall is my favorite but spring is just so, so pretty to me. So once I get all of these painted, what I'm gonna do first is take the two eggs and I picked up some scrapbook paper from um, Hobby Lobby and it was like 50 cent a sheet. Now, these are so pretty. I absolutely love these with the bunny on it. And that's what I like about um, these wood pieces is that you can paint them, you can decoupage them you can do so much with them and, and end up with some really pretty decor all I did was kind of go around the paper with the um, on top of the wood to create um, the crease so that I can just cut out the paper and that's what I'm doing to the buffalo check one as well and then I'm just gonna go around and cut it out and I'm cutting it a little bit bigger so that I can have room um, when I am adding the Mod Podge. So I'm just gonna go in and add the Mod Podge all over the egg. I'm gonna go around the edges too so I can make sure that um, the paper seals pretty good. So once I add in a, a nice thin coat, I'm gonna add the paper right on top and press it down and smooth it out. You can use one of the little um, Cricut tools to smooth it out, but I'm just gonna go in with my hands. And then I'm gonna repeat that step and do the same thing with the other egg. These were really simple, but I think they came out so cute. 
and so I'm just going to go over with a thin coat and then add the paper on top and then once I have everything smoothed out I'm going to go over the paper with some more Mod Podge and then what I, I do is I let that dry before I go and sand off the excess paper around the edges as I'm adding the glue I'm making sure that I rub it around the trimming as well so that everything can appear and now that it has dried I'm just using the sanding block from the Dollar Tree and I am just um, sanding it down in a downward motion so that the paper can just fall right off as you can see and I will be doing both of them that way once I have both of them sanded down I am now going to attach them to these wood pieces and one of them I'm going to attach um, after I attach the wood pieces to one of those little candle holder pedestals that I picked up from the Dollar Tree now this first egg I did add it a little closer to the top because later on not in today's video I think I want to add some flowers behind there so I wanted to make sure that I added room for that so now I'm just adding wood glue and hot glue to connect these pieces and then once I have them connected now I'm going to take the um, fix all glue and a combination of hot glue to add the one egg on top of this candle holder and that's just to elevate this as well and this is another um tray decor i you know i guess like tear tray decor where i can add something on the back i did want to add some moss to the bottom of this both of them and um the dollar tree do have moss but this was some moss that i had got as a gift so i wanted to start using it so i'm just adding some hot glue and then i'm placing the moss right on the top of the glue and i'm going to do that on the front as well as on the back and i'm going to do that to both pieces and once i add the moss that is going to be it for this now later on and as I mentioned earlier, not in today's video, I think I want to add some flowers to the back of the taller one. And this is how they turned out. I think these are simple, but they are so cute for the Easter season. And remember, I am collaborating with my dear friend May from Craft Away with May. So don't forget, after watching this video, check the description box below for the link to hers. Now moving on to the next DIY. I have one of these wood signs here. They always have these in a the Dollar Tree in the um, home decor section. But I'm going to paint right over this using some white paint. I have three of those bunnies and I'm going to paint those as well with the white paint i'm going to be using the two for um, this first piece and i'm going to use the other one as a standalone so once i get all three of them painted i did pick up some more paper from hobby lobby and it was this um grass print paper and i want to um decoupage this on the top of this wood piece I'm pretty much doing the same technique that I did with the eggs, just the indention and then cutting it down. And then I'm going to spread the Mod Podge on this wood piece and just place the paper on the top. Now I have to cut down another piece, as you can see, because this the, it, the piece was longer than the paper. So once I get that cut down, all I'm going to do is spread on a thin layer of Mod Podge and then just smooth the paper out right on top and then i'm going to add the other piece and i'm just making sure that i press it down really smooth and then once i have both pieces on there i am going to go over the entire piece with some more my podge i was out of frame that last frame i, I was just adding the paper <laughs> to um to the wood piece so sorry about that so once this dries um all i'm going to do is just take the sanding block to sand off any excess paper that's around the edges and then once that is complete i am now going to attach these bunnies to the um wood piece now this is another piece where i, I was considering it like a tray because i want to add these little bunnies on there um, as well and then I do have this um, two pack of carrots from the Dollar Tree I'm going to cut the stem the stick off one of them and so now I'm going to use some hot glue to attach both of these bunnies um, to the center and so I have them together like they're smooching they're really close together and so I'm just going to go in and add my hot glue to attach them 
and then I am going to add that carrot but I do not want to hot glue it so I'm just going to place it in there and then I'm just going to add some other decor on the base and that is it it is a family of four and I think it is so cute Now for that other bunny that I painted white, I just wanted to decorate this bunny as a standalone because I think these are cute just to decorate to fit your decor and they look really high end. So I'm taking some of that cafe color um, Waverly paint and to distress around this bunny and I'm just going to go over the top of it very lightly. Once I get that complete, I'm going to embellish it using some jute cord that I'm going to tie a little basic bow around the neck i'm going to use the same um florals from the previous diy to embellish on top of that and then i'm going to bring in some um wood stickers from the dollar tree that i thought was perfect so once i attach these florals i am going to attach two um wood sticker wood sticker florals that i picked up from the dollar tree and i'll show you those in a minute this was really cute and here they are they have a small um flower and a little larger one so i'm going to place the larger one as the tail and then i'm going to place the um smaller one right in the middle of the little bow and that is it this is so adorable it is so cute and this is really budget friendly if you just grab some of those items and just decorated them to fit your decor as standalones they look really good now for this diy i have two more of those eggs and i have a two pack of these floating shells from the dollar tree i wanted to just use one of them as a base because i'm going to create like a something that can hold my paper plates i always host for easter and we always are looking for somewhere to have the plates but i always wanted to be really cute so i thought this would be perfect for my paper plates for the family but i'm also am going to be able to use this as like a planter to hold florals as well and i'll show you the difference with that so i just added some plaster to cover those holes that was on there and now i'm going in with that cafe color paint to paint this base and I'm going to paint the two eggs using um, the Waverly White paint. Once I have these painted, I am going to embellish this with some ribbon from the Dollar Tree and a really cute um, burlap floral from the Dollar Tree as well. So once I get those painted, I'm going to take this ribbon. It's just like some burlap ribbon and I'm going to add three strips as, as like a, a decorated Easter egg. And so I'm going to use some hot glue to attach this. This turned out really cute. I love the neutral um, colors of this because it can blend in with um, other colors for Easter or spring. So I'm going to attach the first piece and then I'm going to go in and attach two more pieces. I just hot glued it down to the end and then cut off the excess. And then I'm going to go in with two more rows now here is the little cute burlap flower and these are from the dollar tree as well and i'm just going to add that right down to the bottom but i wanted to pull off a few of those um, green leaves off that floral pick from the dollar tree and i'm just going to hot glue that down and then place the little burlap flower right on top once i have that complete i am going to attach these pieces to the base so i'm just going to use some wood glue and some hot glue and i'm just going to attach one on each side i wanted to make sure that it was big enough to add a nice amount of paper plates and also large enough to add in some few florals in the center so once i have that attached that is going to be it for this i absolutely love how cute this came out you can recreate this and decorate this to fit your decor and i think it'll be great for the season and here is how it looked with the paper plates i think it is so adorable and then i'm going to show you how i styled it and i just threw some um, floral in there and i think it's cute that way as well
Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did. If so, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment section below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And remember, today's collaboration is with my dear friend May from Craft Away with May. So after watching this video, check the description box below for the link to hers. Until next time, my sweet friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video.